hey guys my name is sarib and in this video we are going to create this and if you are a beginner you can watch this video also because i will tell you everything step by step you can download my all the images free link in the description below and there is a one more thing i want to discuss with you guys like look at this report it says that my viewers are not subscribing my channel like am i doing anything wrong if not so why are you not subscribing this channel so this is your responsibility to help this channel so what you are waiting for let's open photoshop so here we are in photoshop and as you can see here we have this banner we are going to create something like this so go to file and click on new then you can choose your own size but i'll choose 1080 by 1080 because this is the perfect size for social media and you can give here the name as well then that's it click on this create now first of all we will create a ellipse so go to here and choose ellipse tool and make a, a big ellipse something like this and put it here now press ctrl a then click on this button press ctrl d and move it here by move tool now i'll change the color something like this and i'll duplicate it once more Control J, Control J. Now you can see I have three duplicate layers. I'll hide this one for backup. So just hide this one. Now we have two layers here. We will press Control T and just move them here. Now this bottom one, double click on the thumbnail and change the color something like blue. Move it to right something like this by your keyboard left right button. We will select both the layers. Now go to here layer and click on this combine shape and click on this subtract front shape perfect we have now this much only that's what i need now we have a backup layer here so just open it again and then we can just put it here like this for this effect i have put it here so we can create something like that now we need to give a gradient here something like in the background so i have given too much time to choose the color as you know so i'll just copy the gradient from here so i'll just right click on it and copy layer style and come to here i'll select this shape now i'll right click on it and click on this space layer style now if you want to do uh, if you want to give gradient here just go to effects and click on this gradient overlay so you will get the gradient now i will paste it here the gradient and double click on that i will show you the setting what you need to give on your gradient so my opacity you can see all the settings here and now i will show you the color so first color will be black like a dark color so this is my color code if you want to copy you can copy and second color will be a brighter color of that shade so just like this it will get a highlight in the center yeah perfect now i have a scale only 47 percent you can see here and that's it it's on radial style and yeah something like this you can see my setting hit ok now we will put here the image so this is the website i didn't find a better image on the internet except this website so I'll just right click on it and copy image. I'll paste it here by control V. So and then we need to remove the white background from this image. So just make sure you have selected the layer. Go to here magic wand tool and click on this select subject. You can press control J. You can delete the older layer and now we can remove it manually from this image. Just select your image layer, go to eraser tool by pressing E on your keyboard. Right click, size again like this and hardness should be 100% and just remove it from here like this. Just that white part we need to remove. and right click on your image layer 
and make it a smart object so in case you don't want to lose your image quality take a new layer now make sure this layer below this product image now press b to select brush tool and make sure it's a black color here and right click hardness should be zero then just one click press ctrl t and resize it like this and put it here press ctrl t yeah that's fine now press ctrl j to duplicate the image then press ctrl t right click flip vertical and put it here now this duplicate layer this one will be down so the shadow will be above and this is our image so make sure you are following like this now for this image we can decrease the opacity 20 percent and we can create a mask here press b and just remove it something like this yeah yeah we have a nice reflection here perfect and then we need to copy the gradient so just right click on your shape and copy layer style now click on this shape we have created like this one now right click on it and paste it here now double click on this gradient overlay now increase the scale a little bit and click on this drop shadow you can give a little bit shadow here just make sure you are following like this do not give too much just a little bit like this this much fine then we will create a symbol here so create a rectangle like this and press ctrl j ctrl t and rotate it like this by holding shift hit enter select both the layers press ctrl e to merge now this is only one layer perfect we need we can put it here press ctrl t and resize it like this and just double click on the thumbnail and choose this color press ctrl alt and drag press ctrl t and do it like this put it here ctrl alt and drag and put it here that's perfect and then we are going to add here the icons so create a ellipse like this press ctrl j ctrl t duplicate and enlarge it now the small ellipse is below the big ellipse so we can just put this above and double click on that make it white color and this black color we can just uh, we can copy the gradient and apply on that now select both the layers press ctrl alt and drag put it here press ctrl alt and drag put it here and then we need icons here you can download any icons from here it's all free if you search uh, i need this icons so this will be virus shield if we search here so you can get the image something like this uh, i have downloaded already i'll just put it here and it's time to write here the text so as you know text is so simple you can write it down by yourself so i'll just drag it from here and i'll show you the font what i have used so this is open sense very common font you can download it from google font website and you can see bold the color is according to the background the red one a little bit dark and we need to put uh, effect in the white background also so click on this white background press ctrl j and go to fx click on gradient overlay now we need here a black and white gradient so just go to here and click on basic and click on that hit ok and change it to linear and the angle will be like this and scale you can decrease the scale 
so maybe like this yeah and now decrease opacity if you reverse it something like this yeah fine it okay and we will apply the texture here also this is our texture right click on it copy image come to photoshop paste it here nice and now we need to work on the here color adjustment now you can see the blue is not looking to the red one and we need to like convert blue into little reddish so just what we can do we can apply a hue saturation here click on this icon and select blue now we can put here a bit virus images and now let's work on the product for the highlight color so create a brightness on contrast here and decrease this brightness and contrast now select this mask on the bright effect and press b now here we need to remove just do it like this yeah now it's looking so nice so this was before this is after all set and these things can be used 100% i'm sure these things are really useful for product images like in amazon product if you go to amazon and see the product so all the details will be here so we can show the all the detail something like this in the points yeah we can add more option here as well so just for example i have added three we can add here up to five option so yeah this tutorial is really simple i hope you liked it so i hope you really like the video if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe this channel and also like this video and for your information i have uploaded so many tutorials just like this video if you want to watch those tutorials just go to my playlist on the channel and you will find those videos tutorials and a lot of people appreciate those tutorials and those tutorials helps a lot for the beginner who is learning so i'll meet you in the next video until take care and thank you so much don't forget to subscribe this channel and if possible share with your friends